Sarah, today's finally here. The anticipation that has been building up. I vow to be here and there for you, whether it involves me working on a zipper or comforting you in a difficult time. That's an inside joke. Uh, <laughs> I vow to hold you, to recharge you, so you can recover and rest, and even if it's just momentarily, uh, until you feel like you're fine. When you're happy, I'll be happy with you. When you're sad, I'll make you smile whenever I can. I'll hold you when you need to be held. I'll encourage you to continue growing as an individual as we work toward our mutual goals and passions. Oh man, well Jack and Sarah, you have finally made it to this day. We are so glad to be here celebrating. I'll try not to take too long as I know the weather is nice, but also a little chilly. And so, but uh, after much pursuing, planning and purchasing, you finally made it to this day. I'm so honored and excited to marry you today. And spend the rest of my life with you each day, again and again and again. I can truly and honestly say that from the moment I saw you, I've always felt seen, pursued, and treasured. I joke that you <laughs> had a twinkle in your eye when you first looked at me. Uh, it's like you looked right through me into my heart before you even knew it. I remember the spot in Yellowstone when I knew I wanted to marry you. And that day I knew no matter where I'd go in my life, or what I'd do, or who I'd go to be, I wanted you to be beside me every step of the way. I stand with you as a friend and a husband and acknowledge that your choices are valid ones. I promise to give you love, honesty, trust, and commitment. May our love be intertwined with the Holy Spirit, and may the world see the force we bring to this world together. I wouldn't want to be partnered and married to anyone else in a, in a lifetime. Love you, my spirit fire. I vow to love you fiercely, wholeheartedly, and always work to love you like Christ. I think you are the most amazing person I've ever met. You're my best friend. I hope you know how much I love you. I can't wait to marry you today and choose you every day forever. My true love, my forever teammate, I'll see you at the altar, your future wife. Is 29 years ago, God blessed us with the gift of our third daughter, Sarah Christine Chandler. Her mother and I have seen her grown over the years into this amazing, successful, beautiful woman, and we love her dearly. Jack, today, with a big smile on our faces, Faith and I now can say, you are our son-in-law, and we're proud to have you into the family. When we were younger, you started on with a look you gave, I spread on. I was talking with Sarah and, see, and just thinking about what are the things that she loves about you and it was sweet to hear these things and I want to encourage you with these few things that Sarah had to say about you. She said the first thing that she loves about you is your love and dedication to Jesus. That your heart is for Him. She also loves how intentional you have been with her since the very first time you guys met on that soccer field. And the list, I mean, the list kept going on and on and we'd be here for a while if I kept going. But be encouraged because this is how your soon-to-be wife feels and thinks about you. And I was asking Jack as well, <laughs> things that he loves about you. He loves your passion not only for God, but for family, friends, music, and even cats. So, you did put that in there. Yeah, it's true. Even, it, even though it may be hard, even that. You, did. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe someone else put it in there. 
And so I'm excited to see how God will use you and your passions to continue to pursue God, but also to love Jack as Jesus has so sweetly graciously loved you and pursued you. It gives me great joy to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Singleton. Jack is a man of God, and I never thought I would ever see him love anything more than soccer until I met Sarah. Um, he knew that he was going to marry Sarah. It just He just knew it. And just like the brotherhood that I have with Jack, the future of just having a sister and loving Jack as my brother, I love you just as if I love my sisters. So, to Jack and Sarah Singleton. that there will be hard times, uh, but I also know that they're ready for it because they're proof that playing soccer and singing in the car makes you fall in love. So let's raise a class to jamming out to songs <laughs> in the car, to endless soccer dates, and to a lifelong endless love. When I saw you for the first time